Hey there clan and welcome to our Warriors Non-Gaming Geeky Zone and today's instalment we're talking web slinger babies. Let's start. Okay if you haven't heard, which I don't know how you haven't heard, uh, Marvel now have Spider-Man back uh, for the Marvel Cinematic Universe in a sense. Sony have not just said, here's the license, take it back, we don't want it anymore. They're working alongside Sony in a partnership, but Marvel will have a good chunk of creative control. We know that pretty much right off the bat now. Uh, the stuff that we know at the moment is that Marvel and Sony are teaming up, and the next Spider-Man movie is going to be in 2017. I think it's July 27th, 28th. I can't remember the date off the top of my head. But we are going to get it in 2017. So two years from now. Things we don't know are which Spider-Man is going to be. And if he'll be in Civil War. That is, the, that is the two things we don't know right now. So let's start with the first thing. Um, this is another Spider-Man reboot. But I will what I'd say to the people, if you, if you don't know this, Marvel have stated, I believe, I can't find the exact quote anywhere, that they don't, they're not going to do origin movies anymore because reasons. I can't remember the reasons, but so I'm pretty sure we're not going to get another Spider-Man origin story because we've already had that twice. In fact, he's basically tied with the most origin story movies compared to Spider Superman and Batman because they've had two origin movies. Spider-Man's had two. In fact, let me think. Spider-Man's had five, five movies. Batman's had what? Four, three, eight? No, seven. Seven live-action movies. Superman's had what? Four, five, six. Wow! Holy crap! Spider-Man's catching up with Superman and Batman. Damn. Uh, he's Spider-Man has Marvel's Spider Superman, and Batman, basically, and, and movie-wise, with the most movies he's had. So yeah, that. That's a problem. So we're not going to get an origin story. That, I'm saying that right now. I highly, highly doubt we'll get an origin story. Uh, I, I hope we don't because we don't need to know Spider-Man's origin story. Basically, he, him, Superman, Batman, we know their origin stories. We don't need to be told again. Especially in live action form. Um, now, what, now, I'm going to talk about the what, the two two major things, of course. Andrew Garfield will not be returning as Spider-Man. We know that for a fact. Apparently, he's had some. I think he had some falling out with Sony. Or he just doesn't want to return as the role. I'm not too sure. I don't really read it too much into celebrity gossip. Um, I just know that he's not returning, which is disappointing because I actually liked him as Spider-Man and Peter Parker. Um, Tobey Maguire was okay for the first movie, good for the second one, and third one we don't talk about. So I'm disappointed that we won't see Andrew Garfield, but it's understandable. Marvel probably want a clean slate when it comes to Spider-Man. Just say, clean slate, let's do it. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm disappointed, but I'm sure Marvel will cast someone... Good. Marvel have not got a casting wrong yet, in my opinion. Every casting they've done for their main heroes has been perfect, in my opinion. Well, maybe not perfect, but pretty, pretty damn fucking spot on. I mean, hell, they're casting bloody Benedict, Benedict Cumberbatch as Doctor Strange. Everyone wanted that, we got it. And I'm hoping they'll give at least Alex, Alex Walton Regan a chance to be Captain Marvel. Because uh, I think she at least deserves the chance, because she's a great actress. Um, but that's beside the point. So yeah, sad the guys. Now I'm not going to say who I want to play them because I do not know. All I know is that there are a couple in mind that I want to see. But of course, it all comes down to the other thing: which Spider-Man they use. Will they be using the classic Peter Parker Spider-Man, or will they be using the Miles Morales Spider-Man from the Ultimate Universe? Because the Marvel Cinematic Universe does take a lot of influence from the ultimate Marvel, Marvel Marvel comic universe rather than the original one. But it's sort of a mishmash in all honesty. I honestly would prefer... No, no, this is just merely my opinion. I would prefer if they just went with the Peter Parker one, but I would be okay with the Miles Moranis one. I don't know too much about Miles Moranis in all honesty. I, have, I don't read the ultimate universe in all honesty. Um, it's just not a universe that personally interests me. So, sorry, I don't know too much about Miles Morales. I would be okay seeing him in there. I'd be completely fine with that. I just think it'd probably make more sense if they just went with Peter Parker for now. And then maybe have Miles Morales appear or become the new Spider-Man when eventually they reboot it or they cast a new member. That, that kind of thing. I'd be okay with that. I think Peter Parker's what they're going to go with. Um, now, I'm going to move on to the main thing that everyone's talking about. And that is, of course, 
Will Spider Man? Wh- sorry, when will Spider Man make his cinematic debut in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? It ain't gonna be Age of Ultron. I hate to disappoint because that movie is way too far in the development. It's pretty much near enough gold by the sounds of it, and the only way we'll see him in there is probably a, an end credit scene if we're lucky. We are not gonna see him in there. I hate to disappoint. The odds are we might not see him until after Captain America: Civil War because. I don't know how far into development Civil War is, but I don't think they'll have enough time to actually implement them in that. Now, Spider-Man does play quite a pivotal role in the Marvel Civil War, basically. He plays quite a large role, actually. Uh, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, spoiler incoming. Click off now. That Spider-Man unmasks himself in Civil War, which was a huge thing. And I'm talking, like, even if you didn't read comics, you heard about it. Because I know I did. I didn't read comics at the time of Civil War, and I heard about it. Um, so, I don't... I highly doubt we'll see him in Captain America Civil War. I honestly think the, we may get a cameo, or at least we'll get some newspaper clippings. I'm pretty sure Marvel are going to be, like, leaving subtle hints and clues throughout the movies, or a lot of references to Spider-Man in the, on the upcoming movies. I don't think we'll see one in Age of Ultron unless it's a post question or it's a little newspaper like from the Daily Bugle a CGI'd in at one point um, or if it will be uh, just a little reference to him in Civil War or maybe a reference to him in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. which I highly, highly doubt in all honesty. I think we will get references to him but I don't think we'll actually see him on screen until probably his movie in all honesty. Um, Civil War would be nice to see him, but I do not know how far in the development that is. And Marvel have pushed back several of their films um, to a, by a couple of months. Some films that were slated for a November release in 2017 have been pushed back to a uh, July rough release um, in 2018. Um, but Infinity Wars and, and is still set, it's still the same date, so it's not changed that much. Uh, because that's so far away right now that they, they're probably only in the early stages of that, so they can introduce them. But yeah. I'm happy with this. Uh, I highly doubt we'll see him in Civil War. It is a possibility, though. I would like to see him, but that's just me personally. Um, other than that, I don't have much else to say on it because I am extremely excited for the fact that they're going to get him back. Now we just need to get them. Now we just need the X-Men and Fantastic Four back, and we're sorted. We have all of them. Fox? 20th Century Fox? Or is it Warner? I don't know who owns it. I think it's Fox. Give Marvel it back. Make them a partnership. Because, no, honestly, I just want to see Hugh Jackman interact with the Avengers. I want to see him interact with them. Because I have the biggest man crush on him. Well, actually, a man crush, I'd probably let him do a lot of me. <laughs> yeah, I, we all want Wolverine. We don't care about the rest of the X-Men, we just want Wolverine. But that's beside the point. Um, so, yeah, what are your thoughts? What do you think of this news of Spider-Man making his debut in the Marvel Cinematic Universe eventually? And when do you think he would be as? Now, Age of Ultron is off the table. Civil Wars are maybe. His movies are definite. But what do you? let me ask you these couple of questions. Which Spider-Man do you want to be in it? When do you think he'll make his debut? And do you think he will be in Civil War? That, the last two questions are tidy up. But I want to know your thoughts. What do you people think? What do you think, clan? So that's why I'll wrap things up. I thank you for watching. As always, I'm Scottish Warren Nato. I'll see you all next time. Ciao for now. Hey there, thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it, regardless of whatever the video topic was about, because I know I'm a complete lot of tits sometimes. Uh, if you want to check out any of my other further content, all you have to do is click on the little Scottish One Night to turn thing down in the bottom there to take you to the channel and check out the rest of my videos. If you want to follow me on any of my social medias, it's just Scottish One Night to everyone else. And also, if you want to help support the channel, all you have to do is pop in the link in the description to my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash Scottish Warrior NATO in which if you feel like my content is worth it you can donate donate one dollar a month to help continue to support this channel and help me make this into a full time gig. Feel free to go check out the Patreon page to make sure it is to your liking and you actually want to spend a dollar a month on this shitty channel. Thanks for watching again as always I am Scottish Warrior NATO and I hope you'll stick around and may even join the clan by clicking that subscribe button. Thank you. Mwah.